Um, my friend Melissa, who's um, we're, we're very very good friends. It's, it's not a sexual thing, but we're very close friends. And we, uh, uh, I have this other friend, Laddie, that uh, is kind of a jerk. And he got in a fight with Melissa somewhere, somewhere else in town one day. And then later on, she was saying to his friends when within his hearing that you know, tomorrow she had to be somewhere to meet uh, with, uh, with Carrie, to have dinner with Carrie Thornley or something. Mm -hmm. And he says, oh, she doesn't know Carrie. <laughs> yeah. She knows me much better than he does. Yeah. But uh, anyway, it's like... Uh, I don't know where to go with this. You got a title? Yeah, just a, a, a eight pages of, in, in, in uh, you know, uh, longhand without uh, a title, without a goal, without a theme. Right, know. right, right. It's just a land. Maybe I should just leave it as it is. Maybe it's finished. Yeah. Well, what is very discordian, and you're more discordian than me, and all this, yeah, you know. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And uh, it really is I like I told them in the Principia, mm -hmm. if it isn't funny, forget about it. That's the only rule we have. It has to be funny. Yeah, yeah. And then you have yeah. these serious arguments yeah. all the time. Oh, and the, the quibbling over this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This is giving you a over, hope you know, for the human race. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We made it up. <laughs> you know, you picked up. It was like you were uh, monitoring the the website and answering the the mail that people have been leaving. All right. Because it's like you pick right up where where the conversation is. <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, I have seen some of that stuff because Melissa showed it to me occasionally. Mm -hmm. One. Thing she she found she did a search mm -hmm. and I was there was a Mormon uh, website page mm -hmm. and I was mentioned on that. Oh my God, no! She hasn't ever been able to find out what was said. She thinks maybe it was just an advertisement or something that somebody sent to him, you know, because that sometimes happens. It's like all about uh, you know <laughs> daytime TV. God. Of See all ya. the things in the world. I hate daytime TV. <laughs> I have to watch it at the dialysis center or sleep or read. You know? Well, there you go. There's something perfect about that then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something very symmetrical about that. You know, The virtual carry is popping up where the real carry least wants to be. Right? <laughs> the Schaefer book is coming out next. I can ask you about Schaefer. He's dead. What do you mean? Or did he die? He's murdered. Oh, oh, he was murdered? I didn't know that. He didn't. He was murdered last uh, December, oh. uh, over a year ago. And there's uh, several versions on why. Um, of course, happened in prison. Right? Yeah, he was blasted to death. Uh, yeah. And I understand from the guy who was accused of it, I just got a letter from him that he smuggled out of the prison and he said what it was was a cover-up uh, because Schaefer found out about the cocaine dealing that the um, guards was doing and was going to snitch them out. Uh -huh. There was a sexual scandal going on uh -huh. there where they were making women. Oh, yeah, I read about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with his reputation as a snitch, if they just saw that he knew, yeah. that would immediately uh, be enough right there. Right. So uh, my understanding is that he was assassinated uh, with the knowledge, at least, of the prison guards who were running the cocaine drug dealing and, uh, on the on the tier. Mm. At any rate, Schaefer's book is uh, outlives him, and it's uh, it's its own trip, and it's a bad trip, and it's a real rough trip to take. And yeah. Yeah. Well, that's probably a relief right. that Schaefer's dead, because now you don't have to worry about exactly. your daughter in the bottom of the river or something. Exactly, like. being kidnapped by Satanists. Yeah. I read a very interesting book, which I you would probably like, although it's just absolutely depressing and horrifying. It's called Transformation of America, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. it's by a uh, ex CIA agent uh, um, and a woman named Kathy O'Brien, and she was a mind controlled oh, presidential sex slave. Oh, stop. Yeah, and he rescued her. And she's got the horrifying of uh, the CIA agent, Phillips. Yeah, she was a courier for, for the CIA, and they would send her, they would they would mm -hmm. program her with a message and mm -hmm. send her to somebody mm -hmm. somewhere else in the world, and she'd, mm -hmm. you know, she'd recite the message to him yeah. and not remember it. But it goes into how 
she was a, a victim of a, a intergenerational incest. Mm -hmm. And such people often develop multiple personalities. Oh, that's right. And they, yeah, so they had her mm -hmm. personality fractured just mm -hmm. all over the place. You know, oh, and get all these different personalities with different memory compartments. And would, uh, you know, they had ways of programming her to enter one personality instead of another. Man. You know, oh, it's just, it's just incredible. It's scary or what? Oh, yeah. I mean, and Bush and Reagan are just, I mean, Bush in particular is just scary as hell, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. No, uh-huh.